so Figma <clears throat> has some really cool uh, vector functionality, uh, especially around SVGs. Um, this, there's an article written here uh, a couple years ago that talks about uh, their kind of change of heart. They shifted from uh, adding as much information as possible into an SVG, um, and then they shifted to you know trying to make a more optimized SVG. Uh, it's it's awesome. It's a great tool. It's not quite uh, up to snuff with Illustrator still, and I'm going to kind of show the differences, uh, and, and even with optimization tools. Um, so yeah, so if I I have this SVG here, and this is a, obviously an extreme example, a lot of paths here. Um, if I come into here, there's uh, you know thousands of these dots, and um, if I if I save this out, let's see. If I save this, I think I have to. Let's see. Can I export SVG here? So I just save this. If I save that out as an SVG, and come here, it's 847k. If I open that in Visual Studio Code, here's all the mess that's in there, right? We have masks, we have fills, we have all this different stuff. Each one of them has their own fill style. Um, and yeah, it's, again, it's, it's, it's pretty huge. If I, now I can do a couple things here. I can come into here, I can select this object here. I can go into select all with same fill. Now what I can do, in fact, let me just show you here first. I can click a bunch of these. Um, uh, here, and then I can hit Command E, or I think it is flatten selection, and it flattens all of those down into one one layer here. All right, so now I can change that and just those. Uh, so now what I can do, oops, so. Um, which is awesome. That's a super powerful, it's super great, very clean in here. I can keep my files organized and structured. Um, so if I go into here and I select same fill and I do command E, all those files get flattened down to one thing. Now there's uh, this, when you, when you flatten a vector that's using a, a mask, the mask retains for some reason. I wish that would just delete, but um, so here it is. And then these are, oh, just extra. These are the empty, um, which I don't know what these are. I don't know why those are like that. Let's see. Um, I can't tell. Anyway, oh, I guess, well, whatever. I think they're extra. So uh, now we have everything flattened into one single um, shape. And I can change that color to whatever I want. And it's, again, one single file, which is super cool. I. If I do this though, and I hit export, um, so I'm gonna do export flattened Figma, uh, and then I come check it out. You'll see it's actually the same exact size, and so you know what that's gonna look like. Um, we have, you know, it, it it flattens it within the 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 GUI within the layers, but it's actually at the end of the day, it's still retaining each one of those individual paths, uh, each, each one of those individual path nodes. Um, this gets, this is an issue because of uh, uh, memory, um, nested DOM depth, Google, there's a Google performance hit with that. Um, all of this information, each one of these gets individually drawn by the, and, and, and put into memory in the browser uh, and all kinds of issues. So. Uh, a couple things. So I'm going to open up. Let's see. I'll open this. I'll open up this one in Illustrator. Actually, here. Let me show you the flattened one in Illustrator, and you'll see that. Um, so I have a clipping path in there. Oh, go here. Delete that. Bring this up here, and you'll see all these are in here still, right? You can see all these different. Um, notes, so they're still in there. Now, what Illustrator does, it has a destructive, as a better setting, it has a destructive uh, uh, flattening function. So I come into here, select, 
same fill color. Uh, so I have all of these you know, dots selected. I can do uh, command, uh, command eight, I think. Yep, yep, there it is, command eight. And what that does is actually makes one single SVG, uh, one single path, uh, compound path. So if I add in um, color there, and sure enough, all of these are now one file. Um, and and the benefit of that is, oh, I lost my little radar blips, but again, you can keep those as their own paths. Compound path uh, has to have the same fill. But if I come into here and I do save, um, flattened illustrator. Again, I have a lot more controls over here uh, as well uh, that, that I just haven't explored Figma to see. I, I haven't been able to find anything deeper than what I showed you. But the benefit here is, you know, here's my illustrated one now. I'm, I'm at, you know, less than half uh, the file size. This is obviously an extreme example, this, this specific SVG, but it's still an example. Um, so yeah, let me open this up in VS Code. Hold on here. And yeah, so what's happening here, as you can see, this is the file. We have one single path. Um, again, not a massive memory benefit because it's still all that information, all that info is in there. But what it does do is keeps the DOM small. It uh, and it's way cleaner. And now I have I have one. Uh, style here, one fill style. Um, so that's it's it's by far the better the better option in in, in many different ways. Uh, now, if if you need, do need individual DOM uh, elements, that's that's not this that's not what this video is about. But um, one other one I want to show you is so I can do um, we'll call this one um, optimizer. So I have the so this one we're going to run through image optim. Yeah, I just did it here. Let's see, just to, to confirm. Um, so I can throw it into image optim, which uses um, I think SVG Go is this one that's using. But if I throw it in there, it's great. It drops it down to four hundred and you know again about a half, uh, but still not as good as what we have in Illustrator. And if I drop this in to here, oh, I don't want, to, I don't want the new pane. Um, if I drop this in here, you can see what's happening is it basically just munches it all into one single uh, node, which actually isn't as good either. Um, I'm not actually sure why it's 100K bigger, but it is. Uh, anyway, this is definitely um, the Illustrator path is is still superior and while Figma is amazing and I again love using it every day and um, whenever I'm working but it's uh, it's there's still uh, some controls that, that I would love to see implemented um, before I could totally give up Illustrator as a, my, my go-to for for vectors.